So today I'm reviewing a trap, a very special trap for critters that live in your aquarium. I got this on Amazon and paid full price for it. This is the three hole planaria slant leech trap. I have several of these and I've reviewed them all and this is my favorite. I'm going to explain why. What you watched in the beginning there was a time lapse sequence showing that the bait was not preferred by these uh, flatworms. I used fluval shrimp granules. But in this three hold planaria trap, we've got baby brine shrimp by Ocean Nutrition, also available on Amazon. So this is a time lapse sequence. Flatworms do not move this fast. And also on the left, if you look at the very first intake tube there, there's something different, and that is a leech. So this trap is effective on both leeches and planaria. Planaria live in your gravel and you can find them in tanks that are well established. They might be brought in there on your aquarium plants. They might be brought in with shrimp or fish or water that you've dumped in without quarantine. But what I really want to demonstrate here is why I chose this as my favorite trap. Three entry holes. And if you look, even though this is moving really fast, the planaria coming up through the gravel, they smell the shrimp and they follow their senses and in they go. The angles of these little glass tubes prevent the planaria from going back out. And the same is true for the tiny leeches that it captures. They get inside, they're stuck inside. Of course, this is done during daylight and it's time lapse, as I mentioned before, but we're gonna slow things down so you can learn a little more about it. But uh, I find that these traps are extremely well made and they're glass, which means that you can sanitize them. So I'm going to get into that too, because you're going to want to know, once you get a bunch of planaria, little white worms that cruise around in the bottom of your fish tank, once they're in this trap, how do you get rid of them? You don't want to dump them in your toilet. You don't want to dump them down your sink drain, especially if you have a septic system, because they won't die. They'll continue. So you're going to want to drop these glass tubes either in hot water so that you can kill them with the heat, or what I prefer is to get several of the traps and every morning pull them out of your fish tank and set them in a small container of 10% bleach solution. Because bleach will not only dissolve away the soft material here and get rid of the bait, of course, that you've got in there, which are the brine shrimp babies, it will also help sanitize the glass for the next time you use it. These little tubes are uh, easily clogged. So part of the 10% bleach solution there is that it will dissolve away any material that's in the tubes that would keep them from working well as you use them for the next cycle. So 10% bleach solution, put them in fresh water, rinse them well, and then dry them out before putting them back in your fish tank. And the problem that you're gonna have is you're gonna run out of planaria. You're gonna run out of flatworms. Now what's the big threat for these things in your fish tank anyway? Well, mostly they just freak people out because you look at them and they don't want to see little white worms cruising around in your gravel in the bottom of your tank. They're only a threat if you're a breeder. So if you're breeding shrimp and you might be breeding fish that lay eggs in your tank and if the eggs are small enough, floor the planaria to bring them in through their mouth and their pharynx, then uh, they're going to eat them because they go after protein and that's why dead baby brine shrimp work so well as an attractant. So when you put these in your tank, use these to collect out your planaria and either kill them with heat, hot water, or 10% bleach. The other thing is that there are other features associated with these little tubes. And I did test the one that had the two intake tubes and I found that the way they built them was a little subpar because some of these little tubules that stick inside here were cracked. So this one, I found that the way that they're made is nice and smooth, except for you can see at the very end of that little slanted piece of glass, it looks snapped off. And I assume that they draw out these tubes, break off the end, and then through heat, they come and attach them to the walls of the glass test tube. And they're nice and smooth there, and it makes a nice entry for the little worms. And here we can see on the left there, there's one parked in. So you might wonder, once they get in, is there a chance that they'll turn around and go right back out? I've not seen one make an exit. What they do is they come in, sometimes they'll turn around and park in the tube, which is what we see here on the left. It's just sitting there, but that one later made a U-turn and went back inside the glass tube. Now what I also found happens if you leave these on the bottom of your tank, and I recommend that you put them on the bottom of the tank on top of the gravel, 
with the holes facing down. And also that you fill them completely with water before you drop them down there. And you might think about getting some long handled tongs so you can put them in your fish tank or make adjustments as you like. Now look in this tube here. That is a leech, distinctively different from the flatworms. So these traps work equally well for tiny leeches. Now this is not the kind of leech that's going to latch onto your hand and suck the blood. These leeches are more commonly associated with uh, snails and things like that, which is probably how the leech came in here in the first place. They can come attached to plants, snails, crustacea, other invertebrates, and then they grow up and here it is undulating inside the tube to get some water moving through but it did eventually go back inside the tube so once again nothing's made its exit now when it comes to that leech the long skinny point head there is the head and you'll see little tiny eyes there those eyes are very primitive and it's used just to see light and dark same with the pseudo eyes that we see on the planaria they just see light and dark so these are your fish tank composters. If there's waste material and detritus in the bottom, they help break it down and dissolve it. If the planaria that you see in your tank are dark and thick and short, that means there's a lot of food in there for them. So one of the things, aside from putting these traps in there that you can do, is to cut down on the amount of feeding that you put inside your fish tank. And that will cut down on the food resources available to the planaria. And what it will, in, will do is interrupt their reproduction. So one planaria can reproduce asexually. So one is possibly too many. So when you start seeing them on the interior walls of your fish tank, scooting around and across the gravel and everything else, it's time to put traps in there. And so you decide when it's time to stop trapping. But if you don't have these on the shelf ready to go, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, this is done with a macro lens. So what we're seeing here might look startling. It might look alarming, but uh, they're really tiny. In fact, they're a little over a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch in length here. And you can also see, because we can see through their bodies here, that they have ingested the little bits of uh, shrimp. And again, they can't tear things apart with their mouths. And their mouth is located two thirds of the way down the underside of their body. So the mouth is not in the head where you think. So even though this is a review of the trap, which by the way, if you haven't figured it out, I highly endorse. I recommend that you get this one. I recommend you get a bunch of them. But I thought it would also take the opportunity to explain what the planaria threat really is. Is that going to latch onto your hand when you stick your hand in to do aquarium maintenance? Nope. Can they do any harm to people? Nope. So what's the damage? Again, as I mentioned before, unless you're a breeder, unless you're worried about very tiny eggs or you're breeding shrimp and things like that, they're not going to do any damage in your tank. They're just going to hunt around through the gravel. And this shows the entire glass test tube, the three-hole planaria slant leech trap with the stopper on it. The other thing is, look at the edge of the stopper, the lower edge where it connects with the tube. We want to see if the planaria can flatten themselves out and draw themselves out and escape through it. They could not. So they don't escape through the lid either. What they will do is overnight, they'll fill up the test tube, they'll use up all the oxygen inside, and you'll also see this slime coat, which is already developing in this video, overlaying these dead shrimp. There's a slime coat that starts to wrap it up and makes it look like a DNA strand, actually. They'll use up all the oxygen as they fill up this tank and they'll kill themselves. So they might have taken care of that for you, but I highly recommend again that you don't just dump them in your toilet, which by the way is an open system into the sewer, always sanitize with bleach. Thanks for watching. I definitely endorse this product.